Hey guys, so I've got some brand new Charlotte Tilbury stuff for you today. I'm really, really excited. Uh, a lot of new eye stuff, some eye color quads, some brand new um, eyeliner duos. But before we jump in there, um, I just want to say that it has been a really strange and crazy week, couple of weeks. And I just want to say, I hope you guys are all staying healthy. When I sat down to film this, basically, I was thinking like, it just seems really kind of frivolous to be talking about makeup during such a time but personally I, you know i need the distraction i've been going onto youtube i've been watching netflix because i need the distraction i've been watching cnn and cnbc and i feel like it's making me really like kind of crazy so anytime i've been able to like kind of like tear myself away from the news and everything that's been going on. I've been so relieved to, to be able to watch YouTube and Netflix and have just like all these different things to kind of like distract me and like lift me up again and just put a smile on my face and make me happy. So anyway, I hope I can provide that for you. I was really kind of hesitant to even like post makeup videos during this time. And I thought, you know what? I bet you guys need a distraction too. And let's, you know, let's just talk about something else. Let's just talk about something else. I feel like we're all probably just like in it, just really, really in it. So I thought, why not? Why not? Let's just talk about something else. Let's talk about something completely mindless and fun and and silly, and let's just talk about some new makeup. So yeah, so that's where my headspace is. And all of this new Charlotte Tilbury stuff just came in. I ordered this uh, a couple days ago when she had like, uh, like a pre-sale, like a VIP pre-sale or whatever. I got the email, and so I went ahead and I ordered all of this stuff. Again, I feel like I was like distracting myself and doing all this like crazy online shopping. Basically, she came out with like four new eye color quads and she came out with like some um, eyeliner duos. And one quad out of the four is not really new. It's the green one. And we'll, we'll talk about it in just a second. But these eye color quads, um, there's like a green one, a blue one, a copper one, and a maroon one. And I just got these. So this is gonna be a first impressions. I am most excited for the blue one because I think this is the most different for Charlotte Tilbury. She's been so focused on this kind of like pillow talk, warm, rusty, pink kind of color story for so long that I was so excited to see this blue color. So I'm gonna be playing around with the blue and the blue um, liner duo at the end of this video. And if you guys are interested in demos of these other two, either the copper or the maroon, just let me know down below in the comments comment section. I'll be happy to do that in a future video. And this green quad um, has actually already been released. So this is the kind of newly reimagined Rebel quad. So she had an original Rebel quad, like the version one, which was a very kind of like emerald green kind of color story. Then she came out with this Rebel quad, like the version two, maybe just a couple months ago. And I did a whole video on this and I will link that down below if you're interested, but that is this guy. And then she kind of is re-promoting this with this whole family here and has renamed this the Green Lights Quad. So in true Charlotte Tilbury fashion, it's a little bit confusing, <laughs> but this is the same as the Rebel version two and it's the Green Lights Quad. So we'll do swatches of all of the quads. We'll do swatches of all of the new eyeliner duos um, and we'll do a demo of the blue one with the blue eyeliner quad. So I ordered all of these things myself off of the Charlotte Tilbury site and just to give you some prices and some other kind of info that you may find interesting, all of the quads are $53 each. I don't think the price of her quads have changed in a very long time. So $53 for the quads and then each eyeliner duo is um, $30. So you can get these actually in a set along with her legendary lashes. So you can get the quad and the matching eyeliner duo with her Legendary Lashes mascara as a set for $113. That's available on her uh, site. And she also came out with a brand new um, reformulated version of her Feline Flick, which is her liquid eyeliner. So she has a black, which is the color Panther, and a brown, which is the color Super Brown. Um, and that is, I think, $30 as well. Yes, that's $30 as well. So that's a new Feline Flick, new formula. And then she also came out with a new color for her classic um, eye pencil, which is, it's such an interesting pencil. I have two of her older colors, Audrey and Sophia. And her classic pencil is like a powder pencil. 
And it's so cool because it's not like a gel liner that we're so used to these days or a coal pencil that we're so used to. These powder pencils are like a powder. And so they go on and when they go on, they already look like they're smoked out. They're really, really neat. So I am very tempted to get this new black color. But those are all the things um, that are part of this kind of new eyes release that she's come out with. But I only got the quads and the dual ended eyeliners. So the palettes were all made in Italy and the eyeliner duos were all made in Germany. So when I purchased this uh, Rebel version two quad, which is now called Green Lights, I was, um, I was excited because I really liked the colors. What I didn't realize was that she, Charlotte Tilbury, reformulated her eyeshadow. And when I went ahead and started using this quad, I was like, wow, like the pigmentation really like took my breath away. The blendability, they were all just really creamy and smooth. And I thought, these are fantastic. And I went back to some of my older Charlotte Tilbury quads and they didn't perform the same way. And I thought, mm, maybe they're old. And then I heard that she reformulated them. And then I kind of started hearing really good things about like her, the like larger Pillow Talk palette. I passed on that because I just, I don't know, it was just too large, it was just too big. But I started to hear really good things about that. People were loving that. And I thought, oh, it's that new formula. So when these quads came out, I thought I have to get all of them, even though I think these two, maybe a little bit redundant to what I have from her. I thought, mm, I really want to try this new formula of hers with these colors because I was just so impressed with this green lights one. So anyway, that was kind of my thought process behind um, purchasing all of these. So let me go ahead and do some swatches of these quads for you. So we'll start with the Rebel fingers here. And I just, yeah, I just really found, oh, sorry. I have some old swatches on here. <laughs> I just really found this formula, this new formula of hers just really, really beautiful. Like, look how stunning those are. They're just like, just really beautiful. They're shiny, but they're not, they're not too much. They're just really smooth and really pigmented. Really love them. Really, really impressed. So I have very high hopes for these other three. So I guess what I'll do is swatch the eyeliner duo that is the matching one with each quad. So, ooh, pretty. This is what the eyeliner looks like. So we have a darker color and then a lighter color. Oh, great. So the darker color is like a matte, a matte color. And then the lighter color is a metallic. Ooh, ooh, pretty. Okay, so here's the darker color. This, uh, this darker green color actually reminds me of the Rebel One Quad. And then here is the lighter metallic. Ooh, these are very creamy. Ooh, this color is like almost the same as this one. So that is the Green Lights Quad and the Eyeliner Duo. Oh, also, I just want to mention on the website, it looks like she's labeled this Green Lights Quad as limited edition. Uh, she's also labeled the blue one and the maroon one as limited edition as well. The only one that's not limited edition, according to her website, is the Copper Charge. But you know, when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, I'm, I'm never too sure about limited edition. I always feel like there's a pretty big chance that it'll come back. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but let's go ahead and swatch the Mesmerizing Maroon Quad. And all of these have the basic maroon packaging. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Okay, these feel wonderful. These are definitely a step up from her, like, original quads. Look at that color. That is beautiful. Oof. And here's the duo. So there's no sharpener that comes with these, by the way. Um, and here's what this duo looks like. Here is the darker matte shade. And here is the lighter metallic shade. So there is Mesmerizing Maroon Quad and Eyeliner Duo. All right, next up we have Copper Charge. Okay, I just opened up Copper Charge and I was like, 
This looks very, very, very familiar to me. It's like not exactly the same, but it is very, very reminiscent of Pillow Talk and Dreamgasm. So here is Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is much like pinker. So this is Pillow Talk. And then this one is the Copper Charge, the new one. So Copper Charge definitely has, I mean, you know, it's much more, you know, less pink than Pillow Talk. And then Dreamgasm, which I actually enjoy, again, very, very reminiscent, but again, different. So here is Dreamgasm and here is uh, Copper Charge. So the color, like the deepest color in both, like the one in uh, Dreamgasm is metallic. The one here is matte. So the finish is different. Yeah. And then the rest of the shades are just slightly different. And again, Dreamgasm just has like overall just has like a little bit more of like a pinkiness, peachiness to it, where Copper Charge definitely has a little bit more like browns and oranges to it. Let me just go ahead and swatch this Copper Charge for you. So there's Copper Charge and you can see there really isn't a lot of like pink at all. It is just very, very like warm toned. And then here is the Copper Charge pencil. So I'll start with the darker matte side. Yeah, these are very soft and creamy. And here's the lighter metallic. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's like an exact match to this shade here. So there's Copper Charge Quad and Eyeliner Duo. And last but not least, we have Super Blue. I wish she had done something to the outer packaging of these quads, just made them kind of color coded or something, or maybe just change this just a little something, just so, because I have like so many of her quads now and they pretty much, yeah, they pretty much all just have this like oxblood maroon red on the outside. They're, just, they're getting really, really difficult to identify, but oh, this is so pretty. Uh, anyway, here is the Super Blue. Ooh, look at that blue right there. That was a crappy swatch for the blue. Let me see if I can get more if it's the actual shadow. You know, and I'm not the biggest blue eyeshadow fan, but there's something about this blue. It just looks like, it looks like silk taffeta, doesn't it? Okay, let me swatch the eyeliner duo. Here is the eyeliner duo. Here's the dark matte shade. Here's the lighter, ooh, the lighter metallic. Wow, that's, this is like a lot more turquoisey than anticipated. I thought it was going to be closer to this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm so excited to try out this super blue quad. I think I'm just going to go right into this blue, right? Yeah. And then I'll kind of work around it. So I, yeah, I'm going to start with, <laughs> I'm going to start with my Sony G Blender Pro brush. Pat. I guess I'm doing a smoky eye. It's not like I have much of a choice with this color. I mean, I, well, I love when colors have that like sooty base to them. Oh, so pretty. I love this color. I'm taking this Sonia G Crease Pro Brush and going into this lightest shade here. And I just took this brush because it has quite a bit of a, like a pointy tip. And I just want to get right in here and just blend in a little bit. I just, I like to keep the inside bright and see how that looks. I have a bit of fallout from that shade. I don't know if you can see it on the tops of my cheekbones there, but I'll just I'll just leave that there for now and hopefully we can just 
wipe it away. I don't know if I need this matte color. I would probably normally use that as like maybe a liner or something, but I wanna use the actual liner. Let me see if I can fit this beautiful like bronzy color in there somewhere. Maybe, maybe bring it up on top there. I'm gonna use like a really fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this BK Beauty 201 blending brush. I just wanna use it very, very lightly. Just tapping in. I'm just gonna drag it. Oops, that's even more than I wanted. Her new shadows are so great. I really love that. One very minor criticism is I feel like it took a while for me to build up this blue color to the level that I like it, which is this right here, where I feel like it looks really kind of like saturated and pigmented and the way it looks like in the pan. Um, it took a little while. I felt like it looked a little bit sheer, but now I feel like it looks a little bit dense. Maybe, maybe next time if I put the matte down first and then layered this on top, or maybe just put any of these colors down first, even the brown maybe, and put that color on top. Uh, maybe that would be a little bit better, but I went straight in with this color, like onto my bare lid, and it took a bit to build up, but it does build up, which is the good news, and I really love the like metallic effect it has. So pretty. Oh, and then the fallout. Fallout, not that great. All right, I'm loving this blue look. Okay, let me take care of this fallout. I am going to grab a powder brush and load it up with some powder. I think I got all the fallout. I think we should move on to the eyeliner now. I'm trying to think like where I can use the metallic and the matte. I kind of just want to use the metallic. Well, let's use the metallic in the waterline. I think that'll be really, really fun. And maybe I'll use the matte just to kind of like tight line or whatever, but let's start there. Uh, so I'm gonna use the metallic side, the lighter metallic side and uh, use that along my waterline. Ooh, nice. It goes on really easily, smoothly. Wow, that is so bright. I really like this color. I just think it's like not, <laughs> It's just not the perfect match for this eyeshadow, but it's fine. It's fine. It's really, really pretty. Wow. Wow. This may have converted me into like a blue eye look lover. Okay, now I'm going to try the darker matte end and tight line. Let me get a closer mirror out. Yeah, that goes on really easily and smoothly. Very creamy. Okay, I love this eye look, but I feel like I'm just getting like a little bit of fallout. Like the more I touch it, like when I put that eyeliner on, I got a little bit more fallout. And I'm just afraid it's like, it's just getting like messier and messier. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna leave like a little pinned comment down below just to let you know how this wore because I am gonna wear this for at least a couple more hours. It's a little bit late for me. It's about like three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna wear it through dinner. I just wanna see how it wears and I will let you know, but I do feel like, yeah, like I'm kind of feeling like, like a little bit of a waterfall of this eyeshadow. I am just going to curl my eyelashes, put on some mascara and then we'll be back. And um, I think I wanna put on some of the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. All right, so I've got the um, Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Pillow Talk and then I pulled out this um, peach, peachy plump. I forget what the name of this actual product is, and the writing on here is so small, but it's this guy. It was like one of those like lip plumpers. It had the heart-shaped um, applicator, this guy. Oh, the Collagen Lip Bath Gloss. So I'm just gonna line my lips. All right, there is my final look. And as much as I love this blue color, the blue, the like bright blue shadow that I basically used all over my lid, this guy right here, it didn't quite perform the way the green shadows performed. I was really hoping it was going to perform much like 
you know, any of these colors here. I thought it was just gonna be kind of like a blue version of this, but it isn't really. It's a little bit um, chunkier. It behaved a little bit more chunky. I think because it has that kind of like black, kind of like sooty base to it, and then the blue color is like this like addition to the shadow, but it has like a little bit more fallout. I think it took a little bit more to build up where the green ones were really just this like beautiful kind of like satin wash of these colors. And I really didn't kind of get that with the blue. So like I said, I'll put a pinned comment as to how this wears over the next several hours. And I am happy with this like look that I've achieved, but it did take a little bit more than I was anticipating to get here. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comment section if you want uh, like a look with the mesmerizing maroon or the copper charge or both. Um, I will leave a link to the video on the green lights or the rebel version two quad. I'll leave a link to that video down below if you're interested in taking a look at that quad a little bit more closely. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.